What I would say to somebody wanting to start to track their fitness is whatever it's easy for you to get or buy or afford, get it and then use it and use it until you're bored with it and have learned yourself. Sleep is super important, especially for memory. Without sleep, memories don't consolidate. Without consolidation, you don't get lasting memory. So getting enough sleep is very important. And there are great apps that help you track that. So I'm a big believer in the Shine Fitness Tracker. It's got a great sleep tracker. You don't have to charge the thing up every five minutes. I think the ultimate mind hack is, is really uh, is meditation and mindfulness and really making time to just unplug. One of the products that I'm very, very uh, bullish on right now is called the Muse by Interaxon. And it's a brain sensing headband um, that's capable of capturing, uh, capturing brain waves and using that data to inform the user about how mindful they are to help them be in the present. I mean, a lot of us know what we need to do. We, we need to sit down and do it. And it's, it's hard to get a piece of technology that's going to get you to do that. Well, today we kind of compared where wearable sensors are with where music was, you know, early on. We're kind of in the vinyl stage. But the fact is that you can learn a tremendous amount about yourself just by writing things down. Uh, you know, investing in a pad and a, and, and a pencil. When we start people on non-digital exercise regimens, it's all about the habit. Just do this every day a little more.